Here we go then. Fun times. Two two mile four handicaps to get your teeth stuck into and listen to me ramble through. Yonkers Stargazer, two to one favourite for Vinnie Gerard. Rainbow Explorer for Leon, nine to two. Hybrid in October for Grey, nine to two. Brickley Harvest for Craig, thirteen to two. Take Back Control for Grey, fourteen to one. Lara De Salada for Drag, twelve to one. Penny Fan Monty, ten to one for David Ad. Marie Sadie, eleven to one for David Ad. And Aldermore Hitchens, nine to one for Drag. That's your nine for the Crystal Cup here in Canada. Two mile four of uh, round oval track. Fun, fun, fun. Who would want to commentate on that? Anyway, there it is, lady. Well, it's just going to get worse with the Bronze Cup when it's the same but worse horses running around. So, who knows? Take back control. Takes them into the first bend of many. Probably four or five. Who knows? Prickly Harvest, Rainbow Explorer, Laredis Lady out wide. Couple caught wide there, the two David Ladd horses. And Padraig's horse, also a little wide as Rainbow Explorer. Highbury October is four deep in that chasing pack. Aldermore Hitchens, Yonkers Stargazer together with Prickly Harvest. And they are two lengths behind Take Back Control. Grey has been running the show with his stayers. So can his two win another staying race this week? They already wrapped up the um, all-weather marathon final, and this would be a big prize taken back to Wales. Take back control. Leads from Yonkers Stargazer, Highbury in October. Prickly Harvest on the rail, going OK. Aldermore Hitchens in fifth. Rainbow Explorer travelling well in sixth. Laredis Lady in seventh, and the two Davy Lad Greys are eighth and ninth as... We go into the final one mile six. Take back control from Yonkers Stargazer. Highbury in October. Brickley Harvest, Aldermore Hitchens, Rainbow Explorer, sixth on the rail. Laradissa Lady in seventh. Marie Sadie, eighth. And Penny Fan Monty is ninth at the back. One mile four to go as they go past the road Cretins on the inside of the track, punching the air. Take back control from Yonkers Stargazer, your two to one favourite. Not commentated on a Vinnie Gerard win in a, in a fair while, so it'd be nice to see him get one. Hybrid in October for Grey, Prickly Harvest just in behind for Craig. Aldermore Hitchens, Laredissa Lady are bang there, Rainbow Explorer for Leon. Leon's another one I, I can't remember commentating on a winner for him for a while, but uh, so that would be nice. But the two David Ladd horses are also at the back, the Greys. Take back control for Grey, who doesn't have a Grey in first. He might have a Grey, he might have Grey hair, I don't know, who knows. Tell us Grey. But it is take back control in front from Yonkers Stargazer. Highbury in October, Prickly Harvest, Aldermore Hitchens as we go round and round the bend again. These US tracks, no character to them. Take back control in front. Seven furlongs to go. Yonkers Stargazer. Hybrid in October. Prickly Harvest still in four. The two Padraig Hogan horses are next to each other. Laredissa Lady and Aldermore Hitchens. Marie Sadie is starting to make a bit of ground on the outside of those with Penny Fan Monty. And Rainbow Explorer looking to explore for a bit of room, but nothing is coming to hand at the moment. And having to push wide to get some room. Into the final five furlongs, we're starting to pick up the pace here. Take back control is still trying to keep it slow, but Yonkers Stargazer and Maurice Sadie's had enough of this pace and decides to get involved as well. Laredissa Lady is also getting involved. Highbury in October coming up the rail. Prickly Harvest has found a nice little gap to try and push through and has timed the run well. Aldermore Hitchens has also found a nice little gap, and these two go straight at the leader. It's take back control from Prickly Harvest and Aldermore Hitchens. Have they gone too early here? Prickly Harvest hits the front from Aldermore Hitchens. And take back control is still there on the rail. Laredis a lady is also coming through as the two Davy Lad horses are up into fifth and sixth. The favourite Yonkers Stargazer has gone right back to the to the very back, but it's still in with a shout. They're all in with a shout in the first in the final two furlongs, but the front four are clear, and it's Aldermore Hitchens who takes it up for Padraig Hogan. He could have a one-two as Laredis a lady is in front. As, as sort of Laredis a lady is in second to that one. Brickley Harvest is trying to stay on. Take back controls dropped away. It doesn't look like it's going to be a grey winner here. We're going into the final half 
And with there, we're at the pole, and it's Aldemar Hitchens who wins comfortably in the end for Padraig. Solid winner of a big prize. I think it's half a million across the top five, so you're probably looking at 300,000 maybe to the winner here. And it's a good win. Aldemar Hitchens, your 25 to 1 winner of the Crystal Cup. Let's just check full result. There's confirmation. Aldermore Hitchens, off a very light weight, wins the Canada Crystal Cup. And there we go, exactly what I said. 300,000 to the winner. 25 to 1, your winner. Prickly Harvest ran really well, made a right move, but just couldn't keep up with the finishing pace of Aldermore Hitchens. Second at 7 to 1 by two lengths. Laredis a lady ran on well and was third for Padraig at 12 to 1. Take back control, had the lead for most of the race, but dropped away late on. Wins it for uh, sort of wins it. Fourth for Grey at 33. So Yonkers Stargazer stayed on, ran an odd race that had far too much weight to carry, really struggled at 2 to 1.